In the last video, we got our search preferences saved in our app, and now we're going to get, we're finally ready to integrate Elasticsearch. So this is going to be kind of a three-part process. Uh, the first part of the process is going to be adding Elasticsearch to our project. So that's going to be going to the Google Cloud Console and um, adding, actually adding Elasticsearch, integrating it to our project. Uh, and just kind of an FYI, Elasticsearch isn't going to be free, but it shouldn't cost you anything because there's a free trial that you can take advantage of. So the next part is going to be actually setting up the Elasticsearch index. And what that means is taking the data from our Firebase database and essentially copying it to Elasticsearch because we're going to be querying our Elasticsearch server, not querying our Firebase server because the search functionality is much better on Elasticsearch. And the last part is going to be using Firebase Cloud Functions to actually push data to our Elasticsearch index. So just as I just mentioned, Elasticsearch is going to essentially be a copy of our Firebase database. So what we need to do is create a uh, Firebase Cloud function to kind of passively in the background move the data once it's inserted into the Firebase database and move it to our Elasticsearch server where we can then search it. So kind of the things, the only things you really need to know, there isn't much. I'm going to guide you through everything, every step of the way. So if you don't know about Elasticsearch, if you don't know how to make uh, requests to a server, any of that, doesn't matter. I'm going to show you all of that stuff. The only things you do need to know is that Elasticsearch isn't free, and we are going to need to upgrade our Firebase to the Blaze plan, which is the pay-as-you-go plan. But don't worry, once again, it shouldn't actually cost you anything because the amount of data we're going to be using is so low that you shouldn't actually be charged. And to, um, to take advantage of Elasticsearch, there's actually a free trial, so this whole thing should cost you nothing. All right, that's it. Now let's actually get started and integrate Elasticsearch into our project. Okay, so to get started, head over to Firebase and have our for sale application selected. And now we need to upgrade to the, to the, uh, to the Blaze plan, which is the pay-as-you-go plan. So just click on upgrade down here, and we can just click on pay-as-you-go and uh, just basically hit purchase and you'll need to add a credit card and all that stuff if you haven't um, but once again you're not actually going to be charged because the amount of data we're using is so low essentially you're still going to be using the spark plan which is the free plan but the firebase needs the security that you can pay if you go over the data limits so just that's just what, something we have to do uh, it should cost you nothing so now we need to actually integrate Elasticsearch, the Elasticsearch tool, into our project. So let's open up a new tab, and I'm going to go to console.console.cloud.google.com. Uh, console and this is where we can uh, add tools to our project. So I have the wrong project selected. As you can see, I'm making a course for Pluralsight right now, and the app I'm building is called Tabian Consulting. So that's why I have this selected. So what we want to do is actually select our project which is the for sale application so if I go to all and I select our project which is here for sale then you can see it's just like the Firebase console where you have to select your project we just gotta make sure we select our project up here and now we want to go over to here and go to cloud launcher and oh actually before we actually do this um, I'll show you where to get the free trial so open up a new tab and go to console.cloud.google.com google.com slash free trial and this is where you can add the free trial as you can see I have the free trial activated right now and it gives you a $300 credit uh, I'm not sure why I actually have more than $300 that might be from Google AdSense I'm not really sure but anyway I, I, I haven't even used a single dollar from the free trial and I have used a lot of cloud tools so just to kind of give you perspective that you shouldn't actually be charged um, if you start this free trial so start your free trial once you do that go back to what we were just at go to your cloud console go to cloud launcher which i was at here and now we can search elastic search and the one that we're going to be using is this one down here this elastic search certified by bitami so we can just click on that and then just click launch on compute engine and here we have some pricing information, but we're gonna decrease the price a little bit. Just gonna change our machine type to micro since our project is gonna be so small. Um, and this, this is of course based on estimates. So this is estimating a fairly large amount of data, but the amount of data we're gonna be working with is so small that you shouldn't, you shouldn't be charged anything. I'm not gonna say that you won't be charged anything, but 
you shouldn't be. If you're using the free trial, you definitely won't be charged anything um, because you have $300 of uh, money to be spent. So yeah, uh, after you change that, we can just hit this deploy button down here and this can take a bit of time, but essentially now it's adding Elasticsearch to your project. So I'm gonna pause the video and wait while it, it's uh, deploying and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so looks like we're ready to go. We can close this and now here is all of my personal uh, Elasticsearch information. So here is the server link. We have my username, which is just user. Here's my password. I'm gonna blank that out so you can't see it. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much all we need to start setting up our index. So if we go back to kind of our PowerPoint where how we started this video, we've now basically completed step one here, which is adding Elasticsearch to our project. The next part is gonna be setting up the Elasticsearch index. So in other words, this means uh, setting up the index so that all uh, you have to you have to define a data structure basically you have to tell the the index what the data is going to look like when it's coming in and where you, you want it to be stored and all that kind of thing so that's what we're going to do in the next one and then in the video after that we'll set up the firebase cloud function that's going to kind of move our data from firebase to the elastic well it's going to create a copy basically and move it from our firebase database to our elastic search server so that then we can take advantage of the advanced search functionality on Elasticsearch. All right, so I'll see you guys in that next video.